okay dear students uh, what is there in this question let's see an ideal gas is maintained at the temperature of 100 kelvin the variation of pressure p and the reciprocal of the volume of the gas is shown okay so the graph is not between p and v the graph is between p and 1 by v fine we have to anyways take just values from this from this graph no problem uh, what is the quantity of the gas okay the question is here at the bottom quantity of the gas means we need to find the number of moles so now the because we are using ideal gas so the ideal gas equation is pv is equal to energy which is always valid on the ideal gas whatever happens to it so i have just written here so what is and how to put the values let us see this graph now see do you see this point this very particular point you can you can see it's a complete point complete point means that we know that the pressure at this point is exactly 400 kilopascal please be careful for the units that we are using and the exact value of the volume will be uh, 50 uh, it, it's 1 by v basically it's not uh, 50 meter cube okay so these are the values that we will substitute here and uh, we can find okay so how can we write this thing tan theta so we can find the slope it's 1 by v so we have to create 1 by v here in this equation we have to bring in 1 by v from somewhere we will substitute 1 by v as x and p as y just for our clarification so how can we do that we can write it as this and we can divide it by the reciprocal isn't it like p divided by 1 by v is equal to pv isn't it so this is equal to nrt now this p can be substituted as y this can be taken as x this will be nrt why i am substituting it as y and x just to bring more clarity to you okay that what is happening here so for this point what is the value of x what is the value of y it is 400 and it is not pascal it is kilopascal so we have to write thousand here because we would be calculating only in si units and the si unit is pascal newton per meter square so kilo has to be expanded now this divided by x what is the value of x here now 50 will be equal to n r t now the t is given as 100 kelvin kelvin is the si unit so we will substitute 100 here and r will be kept as r so on calculating this it will be and for t i can say that t will be 100 here because under kelvin i can substitute 100 so this 100 can get cancelled out with this so it will be 80 and r will become uh, reciprocal there because it will be cross multiplied so for n it will be 80 divided by r so this will be number of moles now our answer is 80 by r let us find what is the answer what are the options here we have to move the screen a little bit okay 80 by r just remember i'm i'm removing the text 80 by r so there we are c is the answer for us so this is how we do this question this is a very very good question i would say very beautifully placed so with this all the best bye please share my youtube channel with other friends